Recently, Trevor James, Secretary of Infrastructure, Quarries and Urban Development, reported that police and licensing officers visited his property, inspected his vehicle, and confiscated his cell phone. He alleged that these actions constituted an abuse of power. In response, Ansel Dennis, political leader of the PNM Tobago Council, accused Secretary James of being hypocritical. Ariana Scipio has the details. Ansel Dennis, political leader of the PNM Tobago Council, accused the current administration of hypocrisy regarding their criticism of police actions. He explained that while they support action against illegal vendors, they condemn police investigations when they affect their own members. He referenced AudioGate, noting that everyone heard what was in the recording, where public officials plotted to illegally utilize state resources. He questioned if action should not be taken. Is it expected that... Trevor James, the latest one to receive police attention, would have done whatever he did because none of us are quite certain of the nature of the investigation, at least I am not. So is it expected that they must break the law and the police should not investigate them? But unless Dennis noted that only Secretary Trevor James had commented on the situation, with no statement from the TTPS or licensing officers. He added that the full circumstances of the incident are not yet known. We do not know if it's simply a vehicle inspection. We really do not know. Um, the only information I have is the warrant, which is quite straightforward. Um, there was a video of everything that transpired at Mr. James' residence, and as far as I'm concerned, based on everything that I saw in the video, the officers conducted themselves very professionally. Dennis further claimed that the current THE administration believes they are above the law. He asserted that, in his view, the only threat to Tobago's democracy is their continued presence in office, citing various issues that have arisen under their leadership. If you examine the situation at TATCO, at Community Partnership Unit, and I myself have heard several stories from people coming directly to me where people are simply being fired from their jobs. Dennis stated that those who were fired received good performance appraisals and had worked for the THA for many years. He noted that, according to industrial relations standards, employees on contract for a certain number of years are considered permanent. All these matters, most of them as a matter of fact, went to the industrial court and recently the industrial court ruled in favor of some of those workers. Right. So I think the, the evidence is there to show that the workers were treated unfairly. Dennis claimed that Secretary James infringed on the constitutional rights of Tobagonians on three occasions, referring to the Friendship Connector Road controversy. He added that the THA has several matters before the court and described the situation as a dictatorship. Ariana Scipio, Tobago Updates Television News.